Hello, early learner educators. This tutorial covers the fan challenge in the We Engineer Kit provided by the Greater Oregon STEM Hub. And the We Engineer Kit comes to us from the EIE program of the Museum of Science Boston. And this fan challenge includes three activities to guide your children through solving a problem for our puppets. In advance, you'll need to spend about 30 minutes prepping the lesson before you teach the activities as outlined in your We Engineering binder. So you just open it up and head to the fans tab. And then just on those first pages, you've got the materials list here and the materials preparation here on page 51. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is to cut out the fan sorting cards and the fan sorting mat. And you might wanna laminate them. And then moving along, you'll probably want to remove all the sponges. So you'll need about 24 sponges and you won't want to probably take them out and dry them out to harden overnight. And then you will cut out card stock, which is over there in the black, and some craft foam. Those dimensions are about four by five. And then you'll also need to cut out some screen here, some wax paper, and then felt. Next, you are gonna prepare some fan handles. So I'll move down here. And the fan handles are simply a craft stick taped to a clothespin. So you'll need six of those. And then the one with the tissue paper here, that's the puppet's fan. And you'll need to have your table tennis balls. And if you haven't already, create your idea box. And then a couple of things that's not included in your kit is a way to make a track to measure how far the ball goes. So there is some painter's tape in your kit, but you're need, gonna need to compile like a dowel or a curtain rod or a couple of yardsticks to make a track later on. And then you'll wanna make copies for the, the family letter to go home that provides opportunities for the engineering fund to continue at home. And then also your, your engineering design process poster and then the individual signs. The first activity is to explore fan materials. It's the first step in the design process. So you'll wanna collect all of your materials, have the six different kinds of materials, your fan handles, and a table tennis ball. And as a full group, you'll use the puppet to introduce the children to the problem. All right, Shirley, you're up. You ready? No? What's the matter? Oh, they're very nice out there in cyberspace. Oh, very nice. They wanna hear what your problem is and help you solve it. Will you come on out? Okay. It's okay to feel nervous, isn't it? So. Hello, Shirley, and welcome. Would you be willing to share your problem that you have today with the nice folks out in cyberspace? Sure. I wanna make a ball move far without touching it. Specifically, I wanna make a fan that can make enough wind to move the ball far. But I need some help. Carrie, will you get my fan for me? Oh, sure, it's right back here. All right. I need some help because my fan doesn't work. See, I'm blowing it. I'm trying to make wind with my fan to move the ball far, but it's not working. Do you think you can help me? I think we can help you. So to help the puppet make a fan that moves a ball far, the children will begin at stations exploring which materials make wind. So you'll wanna begin by modeling how to use the Explore Station. And so what they'll do is they'll clip one of the materials at the end of a fan handle, like so. And then the children explore the materials, each one to find out which materials can make wind when waved. 
All right, then back as a full group after everyone's had a chance to go through this station and using your puppet, the children will share what they found out about the fan materials and which materials they think the puppet should use to make a fan that moves the ball far. And then, and surely, what are you gonna tell the children at the end? I'll let them know that they will be creating their own fan next time we do engineering. All right, that's awesome. That's it for activity one. The second activity is to create a fan, engaging in the create and improve steps of the design process. For this activity, you'll need the track to test the fans with the ball. So as you can see here, I've just used an old curtain rod and a dowel rod and taped it to the floor. You could certainly use a couple of meter sticks too. Anything goes just to contain the, the table tennis balls. You'll want to transition into engineering by singing the engineering song. Then as a full group, you'll use the puppet to review the problem. All right, Shirley, you're on. All right, here she is. She's not quite so shy this time. Hello, engineers. Do you remember the problem we were trying to solve? We want to figure out how to make a fan that can make enough wind to move the ball far. You said that very well. Mm, thank you. Now the children will head to stations and guided by an educator, children will rank the six different fan materials using the sorting mat and the cards. And they'll decide whether the materials move the ball or don't move the ball. So during this time, encourage the children to think about which material they want to use to make their own fan. So they could take materials and place them along their scale of whether it does move the ball or doesn't move the ball or somewhere in between. Now let the children know it's time to create. You'll hold up the create card and with the fan handles and materials, the children create their first fan and test whether it moves the ball far on the track. And then after evaluating their fan, they can try to improve it and make the ball go even farther. So you'll wanna hold up the improve card and provide children time to change their fan. Now we can use the idea box to record what works. So the children will take apart their fan and choose one or two of the materials they think the puppet should use to make a fan and place it in the idea box. And explain that you'll give the box to the puppet later so the puppet can see everyone's ideas. And then they clean up their materials to be ready for the next group. After all the children have gone through the station, it's time for activity number three called We Engineered a Fan. And it's really a time for reflection as well as sharing with your puppet your class's engineering recommendations. So of course you'll transition into your engineering time by singing the engineering song and begin by reviewing how the children used each step of the design process. Then you'll discuss the materials they put in the idea box. And then it's time for our puppet friend to come back out and using the material in the idea box, the children will help the puppet improve its fan. Hey, Shirley, you wanna come out and see what's in the box? No, I think I'll wait until the children tell me what's in the box. I don't really wanna know what a bunch of adults thought. Ha 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 ha. Fair enough, you're a patient raccoon. So after you complete the fan challenge, you can fill an engineering bag with extra materials so, so families can keep the engineering magic happening at home. Please do celebrate all the different creative ideas for solving the puppet's problem and please let each of your students know that they are a great engineer. 
All right, have fun with your We Engineers making fans. Thank you.